Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Simple Colors Zapped and Extra AF, a smushy, and I'm going to stamp on it. I've started off with Peel Ease as my base coat. And I'm going to start with a base color of this Catherine Arley. It's number 676. It's just an old polish in my collection I had to pull out. It's a very sheer polish. I didn't remember it being this sheer. These were some of the first hollows I ever bought. I bought a whole bunch of them. So I thought I'd break this one out and just use it as my base polish today. Something kind of light. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get it to dry down so we can do a smushy. I love smushies. Hi Woody, how you doing? So I'm going to protect the skin with some Peel Ease from IMK. I normally don't show this step, but I thought I'd show how easy it goes on, you know, not fighting with it or anything. I get a little sloppy with it, but, you know, it's okay. And I'm not going very high up because I am doing a smushy, so I'm going to try to keep the mess down here towards my fingernails. Trying to make sure to get all the way up around there because that's the part that I have trouble cleaning. So I'll be using this neon from Simple Colors called Zapped. And I'll also be using Extra AF. So I'll be using the blue and the yellow from this collection. Really excited about it. I'll use my Shell We Stamp stamper today. It's just kind of a mushy marshmallow large stamper. Um, I don't, you know, I don't trade out my stampers very often. I kind of set one out on my desk and use that one a lot. But I figured for this I would break this one out. So I just kind of add the stamper down to the mat and kind of do like a little swishy smush. And uh, just start tapping them colors in. And I'll reload the mat as needed. But since I used a base color, it's not going to take very much of this. I am cleaning that stamper off on my lint roller, just like I do when I stamp. So I'm going to put some more blobs of polish out. I just couldn't resist playing with these. I just, I know y'all might be getting tired of seeing them, but sometimes when I get something new, I just can't get enough. And I want to show all the things that can be done with them. And you don't have to have these exact, exact polishes. Anything you've got would work, you know. You can do it in different colors or with different polishes that are the, kind of the same color. Whatever works for you. So we've got the smushy part done. I'm going to go in with this little piece of tape and try to get up my latex mess going on. Some of that extra polish that's hanging out. As you can see, it's already dried, so it's just kind of peeling up. So I'm just being very careful with my cleanup here. Oh, I can see some latex still lingering. And now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and my acetone. And I do have some of that acetone additive in there so that it doesn't dry my skin out too bad. I'm just going to do a little bit of tidying up here. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat again. And look how when the top coat goes on, it's magic. I love how smooth it makes it look. Goes from looking like a hot mess to, ooh, wee. Love it. So there's a swatch photo of the smushy. Beautiful all on its own. I'll be using this Nicole Diary 076 plate today. It's new, so i got to get that blue film off of it. This was sent for review, and I do really love this plate. I'll have a link for it down below. I'll clean it with the acetone and my little paper towel here. Wipe it all down. I'll be using my Beauty Scraper, my Monocle Stamper, and Funky Fingers Gesso, and Dark Knight. They're not stamping polishes, but they are awesome for stamping. I'm going to use just a few different images off of this plate. i uh, going to do kind of like a, a smushy stamp, I guess. <laughs> Goes along with the smushy theme going on today. I'm just applying dots all around the image and I really only want to scrape once but sometimes I get carried away and do that second scrape. The more you scrape it the more the colors blend. So 
So we're just going to keep on doing that using different images. I love images like this that give it that distressed look or marbled or granite look. I just really like that kind of stuff. And this plate's got a lot of cool images. And that one kind of looks a little camouflage. I like it. So here we go with some more dot, dot, dot. And I did speed this up because there were so many steps to this manicure that uh, you guys would have been here for a long time <laughs> watching it. Or fast forwarding. Or put me on high speed to where I talk like a chipmunk. Bless you, Cotton. Here we go with another one. Oh my goodness, that boy's got the sneezes. Never met a dog with allergies, but he's definitely got allergies. I decided for my ring finger I would use this image that's got more, um, I keep saying um, I'm sorry, more open spaces. And you want to put more polish down when you, when you use images like this. Some big spaces just eat up the polish. I figured they're all kind of abstract looking, but my ring nail definitely got some more polish on it, some more stamping. There we go. Drop, drop, drop. No rhyme or reason. No certain amounts of anything, just... I hesitated. I didn't want to scrape it again. <laughs> so there we go. All stamped up. I'm going to use a piece of tape again because I forgot to use the Burt's Bees this time. Lesson learned. Hopefully I'll remember next time. So I'm going to get up as much as I can. And I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush. Abuse my cuticle some more with some more acetone. It's all good though, I guess. I really loved how this one turned out though. L little extra steps, but it was all worth it to me. A little different. Still cleaning that up. What a mess. I bet you I remember that bird space next time. And I'm such a ninny on this cleanup. If you guys would prefer not to see the cleanup, let me know in the comments down below. So I'm going to be using this Nicole Diary smudge-free top coat. But you have to be real careful with it. It's not my favorite. You have to dip it in, do a swipe. And in this case, I'm flipping the brush over to where the bead is, um, you know, there's a bead of the stuff on the brush. It's just a mess. So I'm going to top this all off with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. And I don't mean to be dogging the Nicole Diary Smudge Free Top Coat. It's just not what I've become accustomed to with the one from Bundle Monster Maniology and Born Pretty. I haven't had any of those smearing issues with them. So there we go. We're all done. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.